Hi, and welcome to The Garden Fix. I'm Rob. And I'm Kristen. And we're in Zone 6B, Western Pennsylvania. Well, we did a lot of bulb planting this past week, and we're going to share that with you guys. We have some interesting flowers that we put in. Actually, 148 bulbs went in. So let's talk about what we put in and not waste any time with that. <laughs> so the majority of our planting was in our back garden here. And we first started out by planting our tulips. So uh, we put in some new tulips and the tulips went in, in all along the walkways that we have back here. Um, the first one we put in was called Blueberry Ripple. And as you can see, uh, this particular tulip has purple and white tips and uh, looks like it's going to be pretty intense when it blooms. So that's pretty exciting. After that, we put in a pretty interesting one as well, which is called Interaction. And the flowers on this particular tulip um, are white with a little bit of a yellow creamy tone to it. But one of the more interesting things about it is it has a variegated foliage. And uh, that is kind of unique especially for the ones in our garden. So that's going to be pretty exciting. And those went in along a walkway as well. And lastly, we put in one called Muvoda, and we planted these along our walkway um, on the front of the garden. And this one has all kinds of different tones of red in it, um, dark blood colored red and lighter red uh, along the tips or the edges of the petals. So that one should look really great as well. Then after that, we started planting some fritillarias. And the first fritillarias that we planted are the more dainty kind that are bell-shaped and I think kind of resemble more of hellebores because their flower petals have um, a green tone to them, but these are flecked with a little bit of burgundy and yellow around the edges. And we planted those directly behind us. And then after that, we planted, I planted actually, um, these beautiful orange monarch crocus. And uh, I planted these along one of our newer berms over to my left over here that has our new tricolored buddleia. And while I was doing that, Rob was over planting our first snowdrops. And uh, we put those in around our new rock garden. So we did put in some interesting tall plants this year too. We're trying foxtail lilies and uh, the foxtail lilies that we got are going to be, should be, uh, reach heights up to about five feet. So we decided to place those in areas that will come up through other flowers and over other flowers. So when you're planting foxtail lilies, they do need full sunlight. Now the locations that we have them, they should be receiving full sunlight and uh, those are going to be near our uh, yellow twig dogwoods. And we also have some planted back near our crepe myrtle. And then to add on a few more tall plants to that, we planted um, Fritillaria ruba maxima, which is also known as the crown imperials. And these are the three foot tall uh, Fritillarias that it to be a bright orange crown at the top with um, a bunch of kind of spiky green foliage on top of that. So we have two of those on either side of our hydrangea tree. And then some newer bulbs that we're less familiar with that we're uh, trying this year are called firecracker flowers. And um, they bloom late spring to early summer and get red flowers with yellow green tips. So something else new and exciting that we're trying this year is we actually have a fall blooming crocus mix. Now, they're not going to bloom this year, but in the spring they'll probably come up with their foliage, die back during the summer, and then they should come back to bloom in the fall. And these are a nice variety of lilac, purple, and white, so those will be very exciting. And we planted those mostly along our fence line uh, in the front of our garden. And then next we planted hardy gladiolus uh, called Volcano and their color is a bright deep pink with white and purple blue tones. Uh, so those should be really pretty and then we did those um, around the kind of the back border of our garden on the right hand side to our right here. And then lastly one that's almost not worth mentioning this is a plant that I have been trying so hard to grow and have had such little success with which is a jack in the pulpit. 
And uh, I actually did have somebody give me one from their garden this year that was mature and I'm hoping will um, grow on and be okay. And I actually forgot I had ordered this. When it came and I opened the package, it was so tiny that I almost thought that they didn't include it in the package. It was probably smaller than a penny size. So <laughs> we planted those under our yellow twig dogwoods and we'll see, those are probably gonna be hit or miss, but at least we have a couple chances of them coming up. So one of the last things I did here was I took some eco-friendly laundry detergent and I sprinkled that over all the areas where we planted the tulips. And I had read somewhere that if you do that, it can throw off the, uh, the squirrels from digging them up. So it worked last year, so hopefully it'll work again this year. After that was done, it was time to move to the front of the house and all the things in the front of the house have to be deer resistant. So that means daffodils. Now, I went to the front of the house, the front of our property, up by the road, and we have a, a small wall there. And I decided that it would be nice to have a little row of daffodils there. And uh, we put two different kinds in there, um, one called altruist and the other one called zinzi. And the altruist one is um, a bold yellow, but right in the middle, it has an orange, a deep orange. So uh, that one should look pretty nice um, and a little different than some of the other daffodils around. And then, so we have that spaced out and in between those, we have the Zinzi daffodil. And this one um, is white. And in the center of that, is a large orange center so kind of looks like a giant egg uh, but um, those should look great when they offset each other so there's one then there's another and it should look great in a row in the front and i also had some daffodils to plant and i'm very excited about these because these are a type that i saw on an episode of gardener's world earlier this spring and i think they're fairly new to the to the u.s and these are arctic bell daffodils and they look a little more dainty than regular daffodils especially in their foliage they have much thinner needle-like foliage and their petals are almost translucent and as the name suggests very bell shaped so we planted a pack of those in our triangle garden and then also a pack along the flower bed that's in the, our front window in front of the house so I'd also like to mention that all of our bulbs came from three main companies this year. We ordered from Bluestone Perennials, Brex, and White Flower Farm. Well, I think that's about all the planting that we're going to be doing this year. And I did want to mention one more thing, too. A lot of you probably know this already, but there is a new USDA uh, zone map that came out. And... For the last year, we start this channel by saying we're in zone 6B. Well, we were right on the cusp of it. Um, you know, I, it could, we could really be 6A according to our old zone, but now it is squarely in zone 6B. So we're not wrong when we say Western Pennsylvania and zone 6B. So, uh, yep, 6B for sure now. All right, guys, so that's all we have for you today. Uh, thanks a lot for joining us. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do. And make sure you hit that notification bell when you do subscribe so that you can be notified of our new videos. And also remember to follow us over on Instagram at the Garden Fix 2022 And please hit the like button in both places. So until next time, we'll, we'll see, see you in the garden. garden.